Season's greetings. Welcome to my channel. I am Mr. Sean. I hope everyone had a wonderful Merry Christmas, a blissful Winter Vale, a happy Festivus, and hopefully soon a joyful New Year celebration. Last cooking video was mostly snack food for college bowls, college playoffs coming up. I am sort of continuing with that snack food theme, but with a small addition to make it feel like a complete meal. I think the following foods will help finish up this Christmas, college bowl, playoff seasons, and into a merry new year. Skewered peanut chicken with ginger almond rice, gingerbread cookies, and royal icing. Finally, a nice drink of hot apple cider. A little caveat that the ginger almond rice isn't in the World Cup cookbook. The author mentions to make rice to serve with the chicken. Now let's jump onto the food train and get this going. Ginger almond rice. Add one cup of basmati rice to a medium sized pot, one can of coconut milk, quarter cup of water, a bit of sugar, red pepper flakes, salt, ginger, and turmeric. Give it a stir to combine. When it comes to a boil, put a lid on it and drop the heat. Skewered peanut chicken. To begin, let's make the sauce. Put in soy sauce, red curry paste, brown sugar, coconut milk, peanut butter. Stir it up, let it simmer until thickened. Back to the rice for a quick fluff, killing the heat and covering it again for a few minutes. Before serving, I will pour in sliced almonds. Last night, I put four chicken breasts into a plastic bag with soy sauce, ginger, and salt. Now I am skewering them and cooking them on my grill top. I didn't want to do this outside in the 25, 28 degree weather. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a chicken. For plating, you have options such as a bowl of rice and a nice skewer stick of chicken, or make a better rice for the chicken to rest upon. The peanut sauce recipe makes quite a bit, so you can have another bowl of dipping chicken or pretzels, or you can take it off the skewer and cut it up, use a knife and fork. Gingerbread cookies. Into the bowl goes butter, brown sugar, and cream it together. Now my camera died, so after that, I put in an egg, ginger, holly spices, vanilla, molasses, flour, baking soda and salt, mix it all together, put it into the fridge for about an hour. So here I am rolling it out onto a mat to a thickness of a quarter inch or so. Using a, I'm using a closed faced cookie cutter, but you can choose your own. It is a really sticky dough. So if you're using a closed faced cookie cutter like I am, spray the inside with baking spray to help release after the cutting. I'm using a thin spatula to more easily move the sticky dough onto a cooking sheet. Once all cut out, throw them into the oven for baking, and then put them onto a cooling rack. Royal icing, sifting confectioner sugar, meringue powder, and water into a bowl, mixing it up. I think the recipe needs a tad bit more water, maybe a teaspoon or a tablespoon more, because the icing was really stiff to mix and work with. I place the color icing into bags and scrape them forwards towards my opening. And here I am, demonstrating my poor, poor icing skills. The cookies are wonderful. Let's finish this off with some sweet hot apple cider. Into the pot goes apple cider, holiday spices, white grape juice, something for brandy, brown sugar. Spin it around and warm it up to your heat preference. 
serve in a mug with a twist of orange peel and a cinnamon stick. Thank you for watching. Please click that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Come on, on what you liked and what I did wrong. Please click subscribe, that fake red button, to see more videos that I'll be uploading twice a week on Thursday and Saturday. So stay tuned, follow me on Twitter or Facebook, links in the description for their upload announcements. Have a happy new year, and may you have a fun New Year's Eve. Ciao.